Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Maserati Levante Trofeo, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like share and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Maserati Levante SUV marks the model's fourth year of production for a brand known more for its big grand touring automobiles such as the Quattroporte. The Levante brings classic Maserati character to the world of mid-sized luxury SUVs with distinctive design and thoroughbred twin turbo engine power derived from its Ferrari roots. Its broad range of custom options from the color of its brake calipers to a variety of interior leathers and materials also give the Levante a more personal touch. The Levante receives Maserati's new infotainment interface for 2021, but unlike its sedan siblings, the Ghibli and Quattroporte, it sticks with an 8.4 inch display. The new software is based on Google's Android Automotive and offers a voice activated virtual assistant, in dash navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a wireless charging pad is also new this year. While the Levante is not the quickest or the most powerful performance-oriented luxury crossover, it certainly plays one of the better soundtracks. Under the hood of most Levante models is a twin turbocharged V6 routing its 345 horsepower or 424 horses in the S to all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic. The GTS and Trofeo models come with a twin turbo V8 making 550 and 580 horsepower respected. Luxury vehicles such as Levante, it's all about excess. I suggest going all in with one of the V8 equipped models such as the 550 horsepower engine in the Maserati Levante GTS. There's more power available in the Trofeo trim, but the GTS is equipped with most of the same features for quite a bit less money. If you want to keep the Levante a more sensible five-figure purchase, the Levante S in Gran Luso trim is hard to beat. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Maserati Levante SUV. Real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. I've done build and price reviews of other Maseratis that I think you might be interested in. I did a build and price review of the 2021 Maserati Quattroporte in the Trofeo trim. I did the 2021 Maserati Ghibli in the Trofeo trim. And I did the 2022 Maserati MC20. So you can see that I've done uh, both the Ghibli and the Quattroporte in Trofeo trim. So it's only fitting that we also do the Levante in Trofeo trim. Okay, so before we actually jump over to the Maserati configurator and price out our Levante Trofeo, uh, let's check out all the features and let's dive in a little bit deeper on those configurations. Okay, so here we can see all the uh, trim levels that are available for the Levante. Here they're showing the top tier Trofeo. It's 152,690. It's got 580 horsepower, 538 pound-feet of torque. It's all-wheel drive. It's got a V8 that's a, that's a Ferrari, that's basically a Ferrari engine. 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds, 187 miles an hour as a top speed. If you want almost as much as the Trofeo, but for a little bit less money, right, about, well, looks like about, oh, just about $25,000, maybe $27,000 less, you're looking at the Levante GTS at $125,490. It makes 550 horsepower, so it's down about 30 ponies. Its, excel it's acceleration, it's just two-tenths of a second slower, makes the same torque, has the same engine, it has all-wheel drive as well, and it has most of the features of the Levante GTS. Then moving down the stream, you've got the Levante S. I, I figure if you see a Levante on the road, most of them are either going to be a base model or this S model. The S model comes in at $88,890, got a V6 engine, 0 to 60 in 5 seconds, 424 horsepower, uh, 424 horsepower, 428 pound-feet of torque. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with it. All-wheel drive as well. Then you got your base model Levante. It's 77,890. It's got a 345. It's got that same V6 engine, but in this trim, it makes 345 horsepower. So apparently the word Levante is named after the Mediterranean wind that can change from calm to gale in an instant. And I guess that's how they're trying to say that's the Levante. It's smooth and luxurious, 
or it can be, you know, uh, super powerful and high performance and all that kind of stuff there. Here, Maserati's just tooting their own horn, talking about how the Levante embodies their audacious spirit. And uh, the design adds another compelling dimension to a story that dates back over 100 years. So Maserati's been around for over 100 years. Okay, so anyway, let's talk about the performance features for the 2021 Maserati Levante. They've got this little Learn More tab. Let's click that, see what they're going to tell us. So they're really just letting us know about the availability of the engines. We already know that. There's V6s for two of the trim levels. There's V8s for the other two trim levels. Uh, and, of course, they're going to tell you, tell you about how effortless this is and how it can conquer any terrain because they're standard all-wheel drive, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what are they saying here? Well, they're just basically talking about this signature Maserati exhaust note, which, since they're Ferrari engines, it probably does sound pretty good. I'm going to probably agree with them on that. Uh, superior dynamics. So what are they talking about? Lower. They're talking about the aerodynamics. They're talking about the performance, the sport, lower center of gravity. you got a balanced weight distribution, sharp aerodynamic body uh, that's going to help with all kinds of stuff like downforce and fuel economy. So they're saying the Levante is an engineering marvel. Here they're talking about how the Levante has an intelligent all-wheel drive system that's standard on all trim levels. And there's what they call the skyhook suspension, which constantly adapts to each individual shock. So you got the ZF 8-speed uh, automatic transmission. And that's all Maserati really had to say on the performance features. Now what we're sitting in front of is the design features. So let's find out what they want to say about that real quick. Okay, so uh, this SUV has dramatic proportions, balanced with graceful lines and muscular forms. They're talking about the design. So apparently for 2021, the front grille has been redesigned, and it's bearing the iconic Maserati Trident. Here they're telling us about the uh, new, bold new boomerang-shaped style Levante taillights that are inspired by historical models such as the 3200 uh, GT designed by Gigerio or something like that. Uh, so yeah, there's the taillights. All right, let's talk about that infotainment screen. screen. They're talking about the design anyway. Redesigned instrument cluster and a new 8.4 inch frameless high, defini high definition screen. So, and they say that's intuitive and engaging. Now that interior combination is not attractive. However, you know this is a Maserati. This is an Italian vehicle, so of course you're going to be able to have fine leathers. You're going to be able to do them in all sorts of styles and combinations. Even pick out real ugly ones like this. Now that seat looks a lot better. So the dyna—they're talking about the 12-way power adjustment seats, sports steering wheel, brushed aluminum gear shift paddles. Al aluminum pedals, carbon fiber, all that good stuff that you're definitely going to get in the Maserati Trofeo. And speaking of the Trofeo, or the uh, Levante Trofeo trim, speaking of that, after we get through the features, we'll go and take a specific look at all the stuff that makes the Trofeo a Trofeo. Let's actually do that right now. So the fastest uh, Levante is the Trofeo. Uh, it's got the big horsepower engine. 580 horsepower, we already know. Uh, there's that V8 engine from Ferrari. Here's a nice shot of the seats. Looks pretty good. You got a different leather interior. Looks like an Alcantara headliner up there. You got a carbon fiber uh, trim package. Leather all on the dashboard there. Looks fantastic. Might not be the fastest SUV, but who needs the fastest SUV? Here's a nice shot of the back seats of the Trofeo. Uh, trim level and they look quite nice on this slide although they're not talking about uh, they're not talking about the the, the you know the, the overall look and the design uh, look how aggressive the front end of the Trofeo looks it looks fantastic and yep uh, it is twenty seven thousand ish dollars more than the GTS but boy I would just want the best one all right let's let's go over these exterior highlights of the 2021 Maserati Levante. So you got soft closed doors or the keyless entry. You got that 50-50 or I don't know if it's a 50-50 chassis weight distribution. Yeah, it says nearly perfect 50-50 chassis weight distribution here. You know, you've got the Brembo brakes 
and you can get your brake calipers in different colors. We'll get to that when we get to get to the configurator. We could spin this around and get a 360 view, and at different points, we could do different highlights. Uh, here, they're going to get into the wheels. What are they going to tell us about the wheels? Uh, they've got nice wheels, bold, elegant wheels uh, that come in a variety of different sizes, up to 22-inch wheels, which is very cool. Uh, you've got something called a Nerismo package, which basically stands for extremely black. This package basically blacks out everything. We can kind of see in this photo how the how the Levante has chrome, like on the door on the door handles and around the windows and stuff. This Nerismo package, or if that's if I'm pronouncing it correctly, would black all that out. Uh, then they're talking about the Skyhook suspension. That's that's Maserati's signature suspension, and it's their state-of-the-art suspension, and it's an active air suspension that can raise and lower the Levante according to your needs or your preferences. Okay, spinning this Levante around to the front, uh, let's click on engines. Of course, we're going to find out just a little bit more about the engines. So the V8 engine is a 3.8 liter. The V6 engine is a, is a 3 liter. They're both derived from Ferrari. Let's move on from that. Uh, here they're talking about the safety, the advanced driving assist system, uh, and what does that all include? I think we should probably click this Discover More tab. Okay, so advanced driver assist systems, what does it all entail? It entails the adaptive cruise control with stop and go, uh, lane keeping assist, surround view camera, highway assist system, active blind spot assist, traffic sign recognition, Forward collision warning and hill descent control. Okay, moving on. What else do they have? They're telling us about the full LED adaptive headlights. These are optional, not standard. Uh, they come with 15 LEDs, uh, all that. They, and I guess they have some turning technology. It says they cleverly turn corners before you do and instantly respond to other road uh, users to avoid dazzling them. So I guess it's you've got your automatic uh, auto high beam lights and all that other features real quick you got the intelligent all-wheel drive you got the power trunk and kick sensor and you got the exhaust system obviously with the with these being ferrari based engines the exhaust notes are probably going to sound really really nice okay so we can also look around the interior of the 2021 maserati levante and they're going to have some highlight features here and let's just kind of First, let's have a little look around real quick. The interior is very beautiful. Uh, they tell us there's a four-zone climate control. That means the people in the back can also control it. And even this person here can control their, their temperature and the person on the other side. The person in the middle doesn't get one. So there you go. you got folding rear seats. What else do we have here? Love the carbon fiber. Uh, you got a, you got a sound system. That's great. What is the sound system all about? So you got a couple of sound systems. You got either the Harman Kardon sound system, or they have a Bowers and Wilkins sound system for you. Uh, what is this? The Highway Assist system was this like your cruise control? Uh, yeah, probably your 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 cruise control system and all that. I'm not really into cruise control, but you might be. Uh, what else do we have here? Maserati Intelligent Assist. They call it MIA, and it doesn't mean missing in action. Uh, this is their Android Automotive operating system. This is their infotainment, right? 8.4 inch screen. Uh, it's got a high graphic interface. Da 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 da. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that kind of stuff. Then you have Maserati Connect. That's Maserati's app. You can do things like use Amazon Alexa, have a high Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, use the latest maps, get traffic info, real-time information on traffic. You know, that standard stuff everybody's doing these days. Here they're just talking about the sound systems again, Bowers and Wilkins, and the Harman Kardon. Here they're talking about the 8-speed automatic transmission. And I think, really, that's all they've really had to say uh, on the interior. So lastly, before we hit the configurator, let's see what kind of uh, genuine accessories Maserati has for the Levante. We're not going to take a deep dive. We're just kind of... We're just kind of skimming over. So we they've got cool bags. They got a tow hitch. Uh, look how cool that bag is. And they got the rails right there. So you can so your stuff doesn't slide around. Bike racks, carriers, different wheels, uh, 
rubber floor mats, you know, your all-season floor mats, sport accessories. That grill looks a little more aggressive, doesn't it? Uh, technology and functionality, you know, you got your uh, illuminated door sills. That's cool. You got your car seats and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and, yeah, all right. So, yeah, you've got some accessories that can be had. We see them. Let's move on. Let's do the build. Okay, so four trim levels for the Levante. We're going to do the top tier Levante Trofeo. Starts at $152,690. Uh, it's going to kick us into the configurator somewhere. Here we are. Now, here's the deal. I've done other build and price reviews of the Maserati configurator. You know, you can get real, you can get into a bunch of colors and stuff like that. We're going to try not to. The only non metallic color is white. They're metallic colors. They've got a black. They've got a Grigio, looks to be gray, and it's actually pretty nice. Uh, there's a Grigio, there's a Grigio something other. I can't pronounce, pronounce the words, I'm not going to try. Uh, there's a blue, and there's another shade of white that's more of a uh, diamond white, and I think that looks nice. We're going to leave that. For wheels, what wheel options do we have here? So here's the 22-inch machine wheels. We can get those same wheels in black. Here's another set of wheels. Uh, those are okay. I don't really like those. And these are 21 inch wheels. They're actually smaller. Uh, I don't, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just not really feeling the smaller wheels. Although they do look kind of attractive. What's this other wheel look like? No. Let's look at this wheel. No. That's a 21 inch. Let's just go back to, just put that thing down. There you go. Let's go back to this big 22 inch wheel. Brake calipers. What colors do, do we want? Well, they've got blue on there. And you know what? I'm inclined to just leave the blue. But there's black, there's red, there's yellow, and there's also a gloss silver as well. Um, moving on to the interior, what do we got here? Now, this is where it gets all crazy. If you want to do all these different leathers, uh, they've got this, this Rosso red here. What does that look like? Wow, that's really red. They've got like this tan. That's really interesting. And then they've got this other, they've got red with black stitching. Uh, they've got black with red stitching, which looks pretty nice. Uh, and then they have another with some, with what is that, the tan stitching. And then they have black with black stitching, I guess. Or uh, is it white stitching? It looks to be white stitching. Actually, that looks kind of nice. Let's go ahead and leave that. As far as carbon fiber, I, let's just go with the standard carbon fiber look i don't know if seems like i just clicked this and did that change something i'm not really sure kind of seems like it did yeah it did so let's just go ahead and click for these seats here I, i'm not going to try to pronounce these names it's a leather upholstery looks to be in black uh other options down here uh we already have the sport pedals we've got the paddle shifters We've got, we don't have the four zone climate control. A vehicle at this caliper at 155,000, honestly, four zone climate control should just be in there. But we're not going to, we're not going to not have it at this price point. Uh, the memory seats we've got, we've got the upgraded leather seats. Uh, do we want the carbon fiber column mounted paddle shifters? Yeah, let's add that. But uh, it doesn't give us a price tag on that. There's other options to be had. We actually went through all the options, so here we are at the summary, uh, and we're at 152690 which is exactly the same price as its standard MSRP that we can see right here, 152690 So we just did everything we wanted to do, and all that stuff was basically no-cost options or no-cost selections. So there it is, 2021 Maserati Levante in the Trofeo trim. It's their SUV. Uh, and that honestly concludes all the Maseratis for 2021. I've done all of them. And so the other three links are down in the description below. So make sure that you watch one or two of those if you're still interested in other Maseratis. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.